Welcome to the Weekly Interceptor's Explain Playlist, where I explain prominent weapon systems and concepts about air and missile defense. Talisman Sabre is the largest bilateral combined training activity between the Australian Defense Force and the United States military. It is designed to test both nations' forces in planning and conducting combined and joint task force operations to improve combat readiness and interoperability between the Australian and U.S. forces. The exercise occurs every two years and involves units maneuvering throughout Australia to include the Queensland province and involves units from the United States Joint Forces Command and other U.S. forces in the Pacific Command region. One goal of the exercise is to test communication between all participants using the Joint Training and Experimentation Network and Australia's Defense Training and Experimentation Network. These exercise links allow both nation's forces to use simulation networks so they can train together in a live, virtual, and constructive environment. During Talisman Saber, seaports are seized and utilized throughout several phases to test all forms of operations. Everything from expeditionary, command and control, air, sea, naval, and protection operations are practiced during the month-long training. For air and missile defense, several units collaborate in an air defense exercise to support Talisman Sabre. The air and missile defense segment provides combined training and validation for maritime and air operations to stress combined staffs and crisis action planning for contingency operations and humanitarian missions. Talisman Sabre's air and missile defense exercise allows U.S. and Australian air defense assets to execute a pre-planned response to a hostile threat. Overall, Exercise Talisman Sabre involves more than 34,000 personnel from Australia and the United States. The exercise reflects the strength of the Australia-U.S. alliance and the commitment to counter all threats to include air and missile threats in the Pacific region. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.